How does diet influence your sexual life? Is there a connection between sleep and sexual satisfaction in women? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Diet can influence sexual life by affecting energy levels, cardiovascular health, and hormonal function. A balanced and healthy diet can contribute to better sexual health. Yes, there is a connection between sleep and sexual satisfaction in women. Quality sleep is important for sexual function as exhaustion can negatively impact desire and sexual response. Accessories and toys. The sex toy industry offers a variety of accessories specifically designed for anal sex, from dilators to vibrating toys, which can enhance the experience. Anal muscle exercises. Some people practice exercises to strengthen anal muscles, such as Kegel exercises, to improve comfort and control during anal sex. Antiquity of prostitution. Prostitution is one of the oldest professions in the world and can be traced back to ancient civilizations such as Sumeria and Greece. Association between breast size and attractiveness. Perceptions of breast attractiveness vary among cultures and individuals. There is no ideal size, and beauty is subjective. Science of kissing. A kiss can activate up to 34 different muscles in the face and burn between two and five calories per minute. Multiple female orgasms. Some women experience multiple orgasms in a single sexual session. This may result from increased sensitivity and the ability to maintain sexual desire after the first orgasm. Common practice. Despite associated stigmas, anal sex is a common sexual practice and can be enjoyed by many couples as an additional form of intimacy. Abstinence culture. In some cultures and religions, sexual abstinence before marriage is a norm. However, attitudes toward abstinence have changed over time. Delayed ejaculation. Some men experience the opposite of premature ejaculation, known as delayed ejaculation, where it takes them a significantly longer time to reach orgasm during sexual activity. Hypoactive sexual desire is a condition in which a person has chronically low sexual desire. It may be due to physical, emotional factors, or a combination of both, and is often addressed with sexual therapy. Erectile dysfunction and performance anxiety. Performance anxiety can contribute to erectile dysfunction in men. Fear of not being able to satisfy a partner can negatively impact erectile function. Diversity of fantasies. Each person has unique sexual fantasies. Some are attracted to the idea of threesomes, while others may fantasize about domination or submission scenarios. Sex education varies widely worldwide. Some countries have comprehensive sex education programs in schools, while in others, sex education is limited or non-existent. Effects of wet dreams, Wet dreams, or nocturnal emissions, are involuntary orgasms that occur during sleep. They are often related to erotic dreams and are more common in men. Effects on the brain. During a female orgasm, multiple areas of the brain are activated, including the hypothalamus, which regulates pleasure, and the amygdala related to emotions. This may explain why orgasms are often accompanied by intense feelings of happiness and stress relief. Emotional support. Offering emotional support and being a good listener can be very attractive to many women. Eroticism in literature, erotic literature, has been an integral part of writing throughout history. Famous authors like Anais Nin, Henry Miller, and E.L. James have contributed to this literary genre. Facial symmetry. Facial symmetry is often considered attractive due to its association with health and strong genetics. People tend to perceive symmetrical faces as more attractive. Fetishes are atypical sexual interests, including a wide range of objects, body parts, or situations. 
Fetishes are common and can be a healthy part of a person's sexual life if approached consensually and safely. Sex phobia. Genophobia is the extreme fear or aversion to sex. It can be debilitating and is often related to past traumatic experiences. Sexual therapy and counseling can be helpful in overcoming this phobia. Generosity. Being generous and willing to help others can be a very attractive quality. Favorite time of day for sex. Preferences for the time of day for sex vary among individuals. Some prefer intimacy in the morning, while others find it more exciting at night. Individual exploration. Before attempting anal sex with a partner, some people prefer to explore individually to understand their own limits and preferences. The influence of the moon. Some people believe that the moon's phase can influence libido and sexual behavior. Although lacking solid scientific evidence, this belief persists in some cultures. Intelligence. Many women value intelligence and the ability to engage in interesting and meaningful conversations. Sexual toys in antiquity. Sexual toys have a long history. Ancient dildos and vibrators dating back thousands of years have been found in different cultures. Kegel exercises. Kegel exercises are not only for women. Men can also benefit from strengthening the pelvic floor muscles to improve the quality of their orgasms and control ejaculation. Lubrication is essential. Since the anus doesn't naturally lubricate like the vagina, it's crucial to use lubricants to prevent friction and reduce the possibility of irritation. Masturbation. Masturbation is a common way for both men and women to experience orgasms. It is a healthy practice that can help individuals learn about their bodies and sexual preferences. Menopause and sexuality. Menopause can impact women's sexuality, causing symptoms like vaginal dryness and changes in sexual desire. Communication with a partner and medical attention can help address these changes. Women and pornography. The world of pornography is not exclusive to men. One third of internet users visiting adult sites are women, and around 10 million women per month are interested in this content. A study by Glamour magazine reveals that 87% of women aged 25 to 39 enjoy porn as part of their sexual habits, although over 70% keep it a secret. Multiple pathways. While clitoral stimulation is a common way to achieve a female orgasm, some women may experience orgasms through stimulation of other areas, such as nipples or the G-spot. Orgasm. Duration. On average, a female orgasm can last between 13 and 51 seconds, although some women may experience shorter or longer orgasms. Orgasm without stimulation. While less common, some women may experience orgasms without physical stimulation, solely through mental or emotional arousal, sometimes called a brain orgasm. Cervical orgasm. For some women, the cervix becomes an erogenous zone during sex, and proper stimulation of this area can lead to intense cervical orgasms. Each person is different, and some may find this type of orgasm surprisingly pleasurable. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.